It's been about 18 months for Nir Bardia. How's he doing? Uh, he has a mixed report card, I would say. Uh, he's really tried to make a lot of changes at the firm to improve performance, and there's been some periods of very good performance, including this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but last year they had one of their biggest losses, so it's, it's not entirely clear yet that they, he's figured out how to improve things there. And I mean, when it comes to what's going on at Bridgewater, I feel like this is part of a broader story about when you have any firm in any industry, we're talking about a hedge fund here, moving beyond the founder's influence, it's tough to do. It's very tough to do, and particularly at a place like Bridgewater because it had a very particular culture. And, uh, and Ray was a very uh, sort of dominant leader mm -hmm. in that. And so it, I think it made it even more difficult for them to break away. Well, tell them, talk to me a little bit about the culture and uh, what Bardia is doing there, because you described it as particular, I would say unique. Of course, there's uh, books written on the topic of Bridgewater's culture. culture rather. What changes have you reported that have attempted to be made at over at Bridgewater? Well, Ray had instituted a whole way for people to grade each other, to have an idea of how people did, what the best job for them might be. And, but it became very oppressive, as according to people who work there, because people would have an interaction and they'd have to go and grade each other on an iPad. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, Nier has gotten rid of all that, uh, or so helped no, get rid of all that. No more baseball cards. No more baseball cards. <laughs> oh, no. uh, but there is still this idea that people, uh, this idea of radical transparency when people want to talk to each other, often quite bluntly, about what they did or did not do correctly. Mm -hmm. or... And when it comes to, you know, potential investors, investors currently uh, with Bridgewater, I have to imagine that the performance, turning around performance is top of mind here. Absolutely. They went through more than 10 years of pretty poor performance, one or two percent annualized over that period. And so people really like Bridgewater for its research, and that's what has kept investors there. But there comes a point, and especially after last year's losses, which was one of their worst losses, um, people are really impatient.